All right, y'all. So today we're going to be installing this Afro kinky curly wig from Love Me Hair. So let's get into it. <laughs> with another video today i'm going to be installing a, another wig from love me hair okay and yeah i'm just gonna get right into it Ooh. so they sent me a wig this wig is a 22 inch and i want to say it's like an afro kinky curly type wig yeah it is and i love the fact that it's a full 13 by 4 frontal it's not a u part or anything that's messing up how I want to part my frontal or what styles that I can do because we have all the tracks that's in the 13 by 4 lace. So I love that this is a true 13 by 4 lace. Um, it's very, very thick. And what I'm going to go do now is I'm going to go ahead and pluck, bleach the knots and wash the wig because when the wig comes, like anytime you get a curly wig, well, honestly, you should be co-washing any wig that you get. You should go ahead and wash the wig. Um, so after I wash it, the curls are not going to look like this. So we're going to be able to see the true curl pattern after I wash and condition the wig, of course, after I bleach the knot. So that's what I'm going to go do. And I'll be right back. All right, you guys. So we're back. I washed the wig. So this is uh, how it looks now that I wash it. It's definitely giving afro, okay? Very kinky. I went ahead and plucked and bleached those knots, as you can see. Like... It looks good. So our first step we're gonna do is I'm gonna take my Fantasia heat protector spray and I'm going to just spray that all across the hairline. Then next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some Fantasia spritz and then I'm gonna spray that across the hairline. You don't need too much, just, just a little bit. All right. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hot comb. I also sell these hot combs. It goes all the way up to 500, and they're pretty. So I'm just going to hot comb everything straight to the back. Everything straight to the back. So now everything is hot comb back. So this is how the hairline looks. All right, so whatever shade makeup that you use on your ball cap, you want to put that inside the lace. So the brand that I use is Ruby Kisses. I'm going to be using the cream today, and I'm going to be using number 15. So as you can see, it comes with like two different uh, shades. So one is light, one is dark. Honestly, my face will kind of be like a mixture of these both. So, yeah. But yeah, so I'm just going to put that on the inside. All right, now let's get to this install. All right, y'all. So now we got the wig on. Like, what is giving? It's giving Erica Badu. Like, who? Because, baby, this is really Afro ish. Like,. This is really afro. We're gonna have to get this up under control. But I like it though. Like I love the dry puffy look, of course. But I did blow dry, you know. So after I got done plucking and all of that, and after I washed it, so yeah, it does kind of look like this. And I done comb through it and all type of stuff. But anyway, anywho, just how I like it. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm Y'all see it? <laughs> yeah yeah now what you want to do is you want to take some 99 percent alcohol 91 whatever type of alcohol you use and if you're allergic to alcohol you can use um sea breeze but baby i'm gonna be using alcohol okay and i put my alcohol in a spray bottle because that's just what i do and i just feel like it's it's easier so you can take your paper towel, cotton pad, tissue, whatever you got. And you want to spray the alcohol on there because you need to. I have on makeup and my lace is not going to stick if I keep 
this makeup on, okay? So I'm just gonna wipe that off. Okay, and you may even wanna do this like twice just to make sure like it's all gone. One more time. Y'all, I could just, oh, my dog is about to really piss me off. Like, girl, you was not no little baby. What is you doing all this whining for? I'm trying to make a video. And you all in the back acting like somebody just hurting you or something. For one, like, go to bed, go to sleep. Go take a nap. Chew on your doggy bone or something. <sighs> Between my child and my dog? They just won't let me live okay so y'all already know i'm using my products to do my install okay so if you haven't shot with me you that's something you might want to go do so i'm going to be using my skin mask which is a skin protector and i'm going to just spray this on before i apply my lace glue and it does exactly what it's called it protects the skin so it's for anybody who has, you know, very sensitive skin and breaks out easily. You want to put this skin barrier on before you actually apply the glue. Now, luckily, my glue does not have any none. Um, it's non-toxic. It doesn't have any harsh chemicals in it or anything like that. And I've been out with my glue for two years now and I haven't had any breakouts at all. So, yeah, but I still use this. I still use it. So that's what we're gonna do. Mm -hmm. And you wanna let that dry before you actually start applying the glue, okay? So this is my glue, you guys. It's called Kevia McQuell Super Late Adhesive because, baby, my lace be super late, okay? Super late. So you just wanna take your glue. And today, Jesus Christ, today I am going to be doing four layers. I always do four layers because I just feel like that gives me a very, very strong hold. So, yeah. Now, about my glue, it dries very, very fast. So, you have to be very quick with applying it because you don't want it to dry like this. You don't want it to dry like that because it'll literally dry just like that and it'll be very, very um, clumpy and you don't want that, okay? So the fact that it does dry fast, it, it makes the time of installing um, not so time consuming to apply the layers. But you want to make sure that this is spread all the way out. And I mean all the way out. Because what's going to happen is if you're not spreading it, like I said, it's going to dry clumpy. And you're going to be able to see how it dries. Um, I was about to say something else. What was I about to say? I was about to say something else, y'all. So I'm here talking about y'all, like y'all really here with me right now, but y'all will be. <laughs> eh, I'm kind of crazy on the low, but it's okay. My man still love me. Okay. So now we have our first layer and as you can see, it's dry. <laughs> like that's what I mean by it dry fast. So you could just keep on, keep the process just keep on going. And you ain't gotta sit there, blow dry, blah, blah, blah. We don't need all that, okay? Cause my, my glue know what it's supposed to do. It, it, so beat it. Like, girl, if you don't come on here and dry. Oh, now my baby wanna start crying. Like, what? What do they have against me? Okay, you know what? Bet. I don't remember this. All right, 
Now it's time to apply. Apply. It's time to apply. And what you want to do is you just want to. So I like to press in first like that. Just press it in. Then you can comb it in. But you want to make sure it's pressed down first. And I always start with the middle. Now I'm going to lay this side down. So now I want to cut my ear tabs off. And you want to make this look as natural as possible, okay? And y'all, I had to disconnect my lace from the cap because it was like the way the wig was made, it was kind of not right. <laughs> but like I said, it's always, an, it's always a solution to a problem. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing with the other side, okay? All right. Mm. 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 All right, so anytime you get ready to tie your lace down or however you plan on tying it down, you want to grab your hair and you want to pin it up, tie it up, clip it up, whatever you want to do. So we're going to go ahead and clip Erica up real quick so I can secure this lace. Today I'm going to be using this Sebastian spray to spray my lace down. Then you want to comb that in. See how I'm combing it in? Like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And now I'm gonna take my lace milk bin, which I also said, and it's only five dollars. Yeah, can't beat that. You're gonna tie your lace down. And then I'm gonna sit up under the dryer for about 10 to 15 minutes just to really make sure everything is secure and it's melting. And so y'all see how my the back of this wig is. So what I do with my wigs, first of all, I have a very, very small head. Like you can tell I got a small head. I shouldn't like what? I got a pea head. I shouldn't have this much space left. Why does my wig even look like this? But I ain't complaining though, because I don't want no big ass head. But anyway, yeah, so I'm gonna sew this down or whatever in the back. And honestly, that's something I do with all of my clients. Even when I install my client's wig and everything, I always sew the back of the wig down because for one, it's, it's more security and it makes my clients feel more secure. Like they don't feel like their wig is gonna come off or it's just flapping around in the back or whatever, whatever, like they feel like it's secure. All right, y'all. So we back. Whew. Jesus. And we lay. And we lay. And we lay. You do that. You definitely want to go ahead and comb all of it out. All right. So now I'm about to take my Care Care wax stick. All right, so now we can take Erica down. Take Erica down. Now you can use a razor. Uh, you can use the little like nail baby scissors, whatever you want to use. Um, but me, personally, I'm gonna use whatever I got. <laughs> Cause I'm just that fine. All right, now, let me just say this. Don't cut your lace in a straight line. 
because we we trying to make a hairline, not a tape line. Okay. Now, if you have like a little white line or residue, just get some alcohol in a Q-tip and just clean that on up. Okay, that's all you gotta do. Okay, you feel me? We don't, we don't need that extra lace. So, I know it look a little crazy right now, but you gotta trust the process. You just go in and just clean that up. Just go in and just clean that up. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Okay, we're gonna get into these baby hairs though. All right, so one thing I don't like is no thick behind baby baby hairs. Like, no, I don't like that. Like, you want it to look natural and realistic. So me, I don't, I don't do the thick baby hairs. You just need a little bit. Okay. Now I can go in and tint the lace because you see how it looks a little bit lighter. Yeah, I don't like that. Okay, so now that I have my baby hairs parted out, I'm going to take an edge brush and I'm going to take my Sebastian spray. Spray it on the brush. And now I just want to brush everything into place. It also brush my baby hair down. I'm gonna take my lace tint spray. I'm gonna be using the shade Pecan because that's my color. Yeah, you kinda wanna spray it. Oh, whoa, I just sprayed it all on my face. So you see how it's, it's more my color. Now when it comes out, it's gonna be a little bit darker, but you have to let it, I recommend letting it air dry. Um, don't blow dry your lace tint. Yeah. You take your free spray on top of that because now that is a wet solution. I know it's, it's, it's getting a little messy. Y'all probably like, oh my God, like, what's going on? Just trust me. Just trust me. Promise I wouldn't guide you wrong. Promise I wouldn't do that. Now I'm gonna take my band again. I'm gonna tie that back down. And this time, I'm gonna just sit here, scroll on my phone a little bit. Wait for 10 minutes, wait till it's dry. And what, that's the whole purpose of spraying that Sebastian spray is because it's gonna help it dry even faster you can kind of just pull your baby hairs out so you can make sure they lay it right while it's all melting and make sure your band is placed correctly like that is a big pet peeve of mine okay so we're dry now and i'm actually going to use a razor to cut my baby hair All right, now you wanna make sure you got, damn. You wanna make sure you got a pencil flat iron and you just gonna curl everything going up. And make sure you do like a little tight curl too.
All right, now we ready to do these baby hairs. So y'all, my phone died while I was doing my baby hairs and I'm, I'm very upset about that. But here are the results. Trying to hot comb everything back out. Alright y'all, so I can't really explain the style I'm going to do. So the only thing I can really do is just like, do it. Alright. So now for this next part, I'm not really going to do any talking. I'm going to just let y'all watch me do what I do. Okay, so here's one side done. I was gonna take it all the way down, but I was like, mm, mm. So now I'm just gonna do the other side and All right, so now I am finally done. But I don't know if I want to put some, oops. I don't know if I want to put some half up or half down. Or like, what do I really want to do? I'm going to have to see how this looks when it's fully saturated. And this is water and conditioner. Let me get my... Yeah. So this is how it looks. And this is the other side. But this is so fine. Like, I like it. Please make sure y'all detangle that back because that's the quickest way curly hair gets matted up when you just brush the outside. No, make sure you get that back. You need to detangle everything. Now, if you just put water 
on curly hair, it's gonna instantly puff right on back up. Like, instantly. So, yeah, I just decided to go with this look. Um, so, yeah, this is the final look. And I think I'm in love. <laughs> no, like, for real, like, I really like this. I am probably gonna try um, other styles with this hair because I really love this hair. Like, curly hair is literally my favorite texture. But, yeah. Tell me what you think. So, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you like this style, if you like the tips that I gave you on installing your wig, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Comment more ideas. Comment and tell me how you like it. Comment and tell me what styles you want to see what tips and tricks you want to know about, like, just let me know. Okay, and make sure you follow me on TikTok, Akivia McQuill, and Instagram. They both are the same name. And I will see you guys on the next video.